this yeah. point in the show. How many designated drivers by show of hands? How many? Just you for the whole bunch? <laughs> Some people else out there. Come on! designated drivers when they go out in the French. You ever like pick a French driver in long distance, like some bar out in the island, they all get trashed. Now you stop driving all these assholes home. <laughs> you ever get a drunk in the passenger seat? They're the worst. You're like, are you alright to drive? <laughs> are you sure you're alright? If you're not alright, I can drive. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do so you stay away? I'm gonna talk to you the whole way home! Hey, thanks for the moral support. And I love it when they wake up in that wicked nightmare they're having. You know, you're just driving down the LIE, minding no business. Are you alright? I was until I had a bowel movement. To sleep. Then you know what I find it's truly amazing that the human body does it. Like, this is miraculous. This only happens in the passenger seat. Somehow that body enables itself to wake itself up one block before they hit their house. How does that happen? You can go to Great Adventure and back one block before they hit the house and shit in Flying Rich Walker International Airlines. Please return all trays and seats in the upright position, collect all valuables, and get the fuck out. So Eddie, Eddie's a single guy, I'm married. Eight years, just celebrate eight year wedding anniversary, yeah. I had to get married because my wife never treated me very nice. Never. She used to call me a lot of vicious names. And that's why I started to think about it. Maybe I won't well matter. Just had a spite. Just so she could become Mrs. Fucking Ass. That's the kind of treatment I get. I don't get engaged. That's it. I can't live without it. We, we just moved into our new apartment. We love a beautiful, gorgeous, gated community. $256 a month. You're laughing. Want to know the secret? Young couple start now. You save a storage facility. <laughs> you know that big orange building with 600 garage doors? Third Bay 12. That's nice. Who had to? I remember mean, being your age, going to nightclubs. Yeah. Yeah, I hated going to nightclubs. That was a horrible dance. Remember me? I was the guy at OBI people. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. That dance like he was on the slide exerciser. <laughs> That's me. You know what OBI stands for? One big idiot. I was a St. Jerk that gets pushed off of a crowded dance floor wherever you have to dance on the carpeting that goes around it. You ever try dancing on the carpet? You can't. When I'm creating so much electrical friction, I got shot shooting on my fingertips. <laughs> Went to dirty dance with my wife, I grabbed her waist, threw her body, and sent 480 volts of electricity. The <laughs> reason I can't dance because women hog dance floors. Yeah. They dance around their six foot wide mountain of pocket boats that got four right in the middle. <laughs> you ever see that pocketbook pile? Then they form a chain of women around it so no guys can get in there to dance. You go, hey. <laughs> Hey, don't let this asshole in. <laughs> Here's the one guy behind a pack of girls. <laughs> That's me, let me in. <laughs> you never see men do that, right? Never. Hey, 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 take down your wallet. It's a lot better. <laughs> hey, you are a kidding, Jack. Not really that itch, the luggage. <laughs> Why are we dancing together? Losers! <laughs> you know who they are. Uh, but never go home. My wife says to me, she goes, take me to a strip club. I want to go to a strip club. We went, sum it up in two words, bad idea. 
She couldn't handle it at all. She's like, I don't like this. This isn't my style. I want to go home. She carried on so much, she ruined my whole bachelor party. <laughs> Actually, you can tell how comfortable she was to wearing those tassels. <laughs> Spoils work. But never go home. We, uh, this week's project, we had to go get a new washing machine. Follow the story. At the hours of searching, she picks out the washing machine she wants. The salesman said, you pay $60 down, then you don't pay nothing for six months. My wife said, who told you about us? <laughs> You'll get it on the way home. So, uh, so we have the washing machine home, right? It's got all these digital controls on and stuff. She goes to wash her favorite sweatshirt. She yells at me in the other room. She goes, what setting do I put this on? I said, I don't know. It depends. What does the shirt say? She said, Walt Disney World's 35th anniversary. I said, try putting the setting to Goofy. 